Hey, welcome back to Exit 45. And uh, we're gonna be over here on the Thunderbird again. Uh, we got some cleanup to do. Uh, so I'm still working on that firewall area. And on the, on the passenger side of the firewall, I just got a little bit of cleanup on the electrical still, more toward the driver's side. Um, I need to get that a little bit cleaned up uh, because the dash is gonna be going in soon. Uh, on the other side of the firewall, I've got some things that need to be put on. I got some ceiling that needs to be done as well as the uh, engine bay harness. So all of those things I like to get tightened up because I finally got a windshield coming. And hopefully that comes this week. Maybe I can get it in this week, but more than likely it'll be next week and then I can get the dash in. Let's get in there. Let's start getting this uh, firewall all set up and uh, we'll go from there, right? All right, so uh, you can see here where we left off uh, on the last video. And there's not a lot left to do, do on this side. I wanna take uh, these clamps off of the cables here. Uh, I need to get the sealant behind them to seal that off. I need to look around in all these areas, make sure there's no sealant that needs to be done. Uh, so I'll have that all done. Uh, then when I'm gonna transition over to here, and you can see I've got uh, right there, um the turn signal uh relay uh needs to be uh secured i need the ground that it comes with it needs to be secured and grounded i got a couple of clamps on the far side over there uh, that need to be secured um i think that's about it there's really not a whole lot uh, left to do over there. The middle is okay. All, all along here, uh, as far as I, I know at this point is good. Um, I could also work a little bit on the harness that comes with the, the new AC. Um, but I don't know if I'll get to that or not. That's, I'm not as worried about, about that just yet. Um, maybe I'll work on that when I start prepping for the dash. It's probably not a bad idea to do it then. Uh, anyways, we'll come around here. Uh, we can make our, our cuts on this plate that covers uh, this area up, get that installed. I got the harness all through here, uh, set approximately where it goes, but I can start to secure that in a uh, more permanent way. That's kind of the plan. So let's just start working it. Well, I feel like I've got the uh, electrical all tightened up in here. So I got my grounds in, uh, flasher hooked up. I uh, know where that hooks up. That uh, hooks up to the dash. Those down there all hook up to the steering column. Uh, what else? Um, I think that's most of it. Everything else over there has already been dealt with in a prior video. So. Yeah, this feels like it's, oh, that plug right there. All right. This one right here also goes to the dash. Uh, everything else is good. Uh, and Alvin, I did check my grounds from the plug to a body uh, spot, and I had good grounds on both sides. So thanks for the video. Just had me take one more step to make sure my ground was good in here all the way to the... Uh, to the connector so i should have good grounds anyway so so i got that and then on the firewall on this side i was able to get those hooked um through the firewall and hooked up to the uh, harness as well so uh i think the next thing i am going to do but i think i'm going to go ahead and start moving uh all this around and in place see if i can't start to tighten this up a little bit I think the first thing I'm going to do and probably the easiest way uh, to make this work is I'm going to start mounting all of the electrical components uh, in their locations and that will help me um, get this routing uh, established correctly. So that's probably the first thing I'll do is just start getting some of these things all set where they go and then I can start worrying about where the cables secure and all that. So. It seems to work best. That's what I did in there. I just 
plugged in what I knew went where and then started to work on the routing. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this as well. So let's, uh, let's get at it. I think the first place I'm going to start is with uh, this component here. Don't know what it is. Uh, looks like there's a number. Right there or something, not sure. Either way, I still don't know what it is. I'm not very familiar with the forward wiring uh, at all. So they have different, all kinds of different things that I'm not familiar with. So anyways, this is going to go right here. So let me get that bolted in and then we'll figure it out from there. Okay, so there you go. We got that installed. I won't be putting the uh, placostomy bag here you know, for the windshield wiper fluid. Uh, I'm going to come up with a different uh, a bottle of some sort here and not use that. So, um, so we're going to move along, along here. And I think the next thing we're going to do is put in the uh, regulator. I know what that one is. <laughs> How about that? Huh? Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get that installed. And then I'm going to, once I get that one installed, I can start getting some clamps on some of these harnesses and get them in the place where they're going to go in here. Um, but I need this one in place to do that so that'll help me a whole lot so let me get that one installed and then we'll figure out at least where to secure the the wires around here to get this more organized so i've got clamps in coming up along here all the way along to here i'm clamped in back there so now i know that this bundle is going to start to go across here this is, come on, there we go. And this bundle here uh, goes to the engine. It's all my signals from the engine. So that one I know, will, that one goes. And then uh, these, these here, you can see how they, they break off. I don't know what that one is. What is that? Horn. All right, well, that's the horn. So, mostly it's coming together. Maybe you guys can help me with this. I don't know what this is. And in my photos, it's just laying there like that. Uh, so, I don't know where that secures to. It looks like my wire's bad. You can see here. So, I'm going to have to fix that. If that even works, don't even know. I don't know if any of this stuff works because I never uh, even tried to get this thing running. So, you know, I'll go through all these, these components, I guess, once we get to that stage. But otherwise, I think we're good. We're tightened up in here. This all looks good. So I know this bundle here that comes down from the regulator is going to go down. And it's going to run across the, uh, the cross member here. Come back up. It's going to go over, over uh, to the alternator here once the engine's in. So there's that. Let's see. I got I got more here. This is the other horn. So that comes across. Fender turn light. So yep. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over and work on this side, which means I need to get my uh get that out of the way. All right, my solenoid in here. So I'll get my starter solenoid locked down. That should give me the, uh, the rest of this harness uh, position. And then I can start going around and securing it down over there. And by the time I got that, I should have most of this locked down where it's gonna go. Okay guys, so I'm bringing you back in here and show you where I'm at. I got the harness secured up along underneath there. I've got it secured coming down along here. This will go to the alternator. There's the engine signal gauges, oil pressure, all that kind of stuff. Oh, the brake 
pressure light uh, switch or whatever, the plug that goes to that, uh, that's all done. So, yep, looks pretty good. We got it all pretty well secured. So really just a couple of things I'm not sure about. I'm not sure where that goes. I don't see that in any of my photos and I don't know one, where this secures to or what it is and I need to fix the, the wire. Otherwise, I will pretty much say that the uh, engine bay electrical is pretty much in. I'm sure I'll make some adjustments as we go, but it is pretty much in. So that's good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to see if I can't get the holes in that plate and see if we can't get that plate on. Okay, let's get a few holes put in this thing. I've already got my pilot holes drilled for these, so I should just be able to drill them out. What's doing all the smoking? <laughs> two. All right, I got to change bits. Okay, two left. I got this one, this one here, which is an uh, inch and one sixteenth. And then I've got this one, which will be the last one, which is the smaller one at three quarters. So, and let's make sure I got this right. Two more makes four. Well, here we go. So this piece is cut out. There we go. To go just like that. And you can see they align up. There's your bigger hole, smaller hole. There's there. And then you got your two big holes that go here. Problem is this piece goes on like that. Now my holes don't line up. Put the template in this side. I should have put it on this side. And I never caught that this went this way and I had it backwards. So, right there, I'm going to cut this out around here. Leave me a ledge and I can cut another piece out to match it. That wet let, that ledge will be where I weld the new piece down to. And then I recut it. <laughs> yep. And we'll get it right this time, alright? Well, let's get it cut out and then uh, we'll uh, see what we do from there. I think we may able, be able to just flip it and then weld it back in instead of putting a whole new piece of metal in there. So let's get it cut out and let's see if we can do that. Oh yeah, we can weld it right back in. All right. Okay, I am all ready to start welding this in. So let me uh, let me see if I can finish correcting my errorous ways. <laughs>
Well, there you go. <clears throat> I'll uh, go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and grind this down. And that should be good. So it's a little messy. I used a uh, flux core. That's what was already in there. So just had to be really careful with it. It just gets so hot. Anyway, all right, I'm going to get this ground down so we can get back to putting that in. Here we go, guys. Not the prettiest, but it is fixed. So I'll get this coated, painted. Um, once I get it up in there, I'll probably put a little bit of uh, sealer around this just to seal that up. Make sure no water gets in there. But other than that, it looks pretty good. So I think the next thing is, is I'm going to put my newly fixed piece <laughs> uh, on here it goes like like that so that'll be the next thing so there's supposed to be some rubber, rubber grommets that go here so I'll get those on there and then uh, I've already you can see I've already got the uh, gasket up here so I will and then I'll go ahead and get this thing all screwed on and, and secured uh, you know find all these old openings uh, the kit for this new AC system came with plugs so we'll We'll do that. I've also got to sit down and figure out the harness system for the new AC. And, you know, I got to have some of it come through the firewall. So I'll probably use one of these openings here to bring the wires out to the uh, engine bay first. Let's get that sealed up right there before I screw this up again and I got to cut and weld. <laughs> well, okay, so let me, let me bring you up to speed here. I've been going over their directions um, on the wiring, and this is what they give you. That's the only instruction they give you on the wiring. And normally this is fine, it's, uh, but it's not the same. So if I go over here, I'll just give you an example here. This plug is this plug and you can see that there's one and two harnesses the yellow and the black my yellow and my black and a, the blue wire and the blue wire but this blue one is not on here i have no idea what that's for if it's for anything it may be an option or something that's not needed on my particular car so that's my first thing I ran up against. I'm, what I'm trying to do right now, before, before I close the, uh, that area up, I'm trying to figure out how my harnesses are gonna go from inside of the car to the outside of the car. Where does my control module need to be mounted? And you know, how long are my harnesses? And we're, so, Trying to figure out all of that off of this is all I've got. The directions don't give you anything. Oh, mount the control module here or the, you know, the relay should be mounted, you know, here. I got nothing other than these harnesses and these aren't terribly long. So my initial thought was put the control module on the firewall on the inside um that would help protect it from weather heat all those things uh but if i do that i can't fit the wires through any of the openings i got so i got an opening right there that's where i was gonna look to feed my wires but 
that don't fit through there. So now I am trying to figure out what to do there, but the more I look at this and all these wires, a lot of this stuff, as you can see, uh, hooks to the uh, evaporator, to the, uh, mainly to the evaporator. Well, the evaporator is gonna be up here. So that's a, that's a long way to go from, from the firewall all the way out to here with these short harnesses. So if I look here, that goes to, oh, I guess that goes, that does go inside. Okay, all right, never mind. I'm getting confused. The, that, the, uh, I'm not, I'm not a, uh, here, let me show you. I am not an AC guy, so I'm getting my terminologies all mixed up. Just bear with me, guys. Yeah. Okay, so condenser goes all the way out, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay, never mind. Crisis averted. This is all inside the car. I don't know why I thought that was outside the car, but I just, I do not, I am not an LAC guy at all, so this is all stuff I've got to fumble through. Okay, so this is the box inside, the evaporator box. Well, you know, the evaporator's inside of there. Uh, so that changes everything because then that means this wire, or these harnesses stay inside. This stays inside. This one, just this one, the black harness. So the black harness on this bundle here, that goes to the outside. Where are we at? Right there. So that goes to the outside, to the, the heater valve which will go right here so that's a short distance from there so that works and then the other harness that goes from the inside to the outside is this harness and that will have no problem going to the outside and you can see it's fairly long and that will need to go part of it goes uh into the evaporator inside and then you need to send one part here out to an ignition source or into it. I just have to find an ignition source, probably off of the fuse box. I should be able to find it there. Um, and then this wire here goes to there. So actually most of this stays inside. So there you go. I just, I just answered all my own questions. So very little of this actually goes through the firewall. Most of it stays inside. All right. With that said, forget everything I just said in the beginning of this. I'm going to go back and figure out where, where to mount this and uh, start getting some of my harnesses set so I can figure out how to route them, push the wires through that I need to go through the firewall so I can then get back to working on the firewall. All right. I got it, guys. Okay, so let me just show you where we're at. Uh, so now that I understand where everything is and what everything terminology-wise is, evaporators in here, right in here. <laughs> kind of feel stupid, but hey, I don't, I don't play with AC stuff except for just to charge it. I don't, I never install them. Anyway, um, so you can see here, I got the uh, control module. I figure I'll mount that probably right about there. That'll be easy to get to even with the dash on. So if I need to do anything with it, it's right there. Uh, and now I'm just hooking up all the parts and sending the wires that go into the engine bay out the uh, out the opening. So and that that wire is plenty long enough to get to a power source and to the battery ground. 
So, anyway, I just wanted to kind of bring you in, show you where we're at. So I just got a few connections here to make. Um, mount the uh, relay switch. Do nothing with this because it doesn't even show it on the diagram. So that's just tuck that up there for now and in case I need it later. Anyway, once I get this all tightened up now that I, I have a pretty good idea where it's at. You can see I just ran the power for the fan up through this loop and it's going out the firewall back there. And then the other end of it comes down here and is right here is plugged into the control module. So there you go. So I'll just be hooking up the uh, thermostat switch and then the two servos. Right there's one and then the other one is whatever, there. <laughs> okay guys, let me get this and, and I'll bring you in when I got it done. Well okay, guys, I think I may have this resolved. So Oh, let, me, let me get where I can show you what's going on. All right. So I've got the servos for the air vents plugged in. And remember we talked about this blue line. It doesn't show up anywhere on their wire diagram. And then the yellow one does. And it goes to this servo. And then there's another servo. So I didn't know where the wire or the connector was for that. And then I realized that the connector on the blue wire and the yellow wire are the same. And then I'm like, well, how do I know which one goes where? <laughs> There's two servos and it doesn't say which goes where. And I couldn't see the other side of that servo right there. And if you look on the other side, it's got a blue sticker that tells you what it d controls. And this one has a yellow sticker. So I figured it out. <laughs> um, anyways, I've been really struggling with this whole thing, trying to figure out where to mount this. Uh, the the controller because I was going to mount it up underneath here on the firewall where I could, you know, make sure I could get to it, you know, because it's it's got some capabilities and uh, different things you're going to have to do. I think this is like you do the rigging on it with this thing and it flashes lights and tells you tells you things. So I wanted to be able to get to it when that dash is on. So I'm going to I'm probably going to mount it right here. Uh, probably gonna stick it with some two-sided tape or something I don't feel real comfortable drilling into the plastic uh, I'd hate to hit the condenser in there anyway um, so that's that this wire this harness here I was able to route that up through here plug it into heat uh, whoops, sorry uh, I was able to come up here route it through here plug it into the fan so now that we have the power to the fan and then this was the biggest problem right here was this thermostat and these um, servos because I only had so much reach if you look between the servos these yellow and blue and then this blue wire here that runs up to the thermostat I could only get them so far apart and so I can see I can't go any further this way because I'm I'm too tight then with that if I went too far this way, I was going to try and maybe mount it up here, but then I can't get this on there. So this seems to be about the only place I can put it that works. So that's where I'll put it. And then the only thing I got left to do then will be to mount the relay switch, find me some keyed power for this, get all that tucked and un away. And then I'll go out here to the to the engine bay and you can see then I have all my wires stubbed out that need to go into the engine bay here and then you can see I've got the my plate back on my hoses are out so I got a lot accomplished sorry I you know but it took me I don't know how many tries to figure out where that control module was going to go uh, until I figured out the only place I could put it so that it would you know, wouldn't pull on the wires too tight. So here we go. We are wrapping up this firewall pretty quick. Ah, whew, that was that was a chore right there. But anyways, so looks like I've got the harness pretty much installed. 
The only thing I have to hook up, I'm not going to do it yet. I'm sorry here, but so I've got my my temperature and, mo and mode control here. Um, and then this end, the other end of the harness is right here. And that will plug into the uh, this spot right here. That was more of a pain in the butt than it should have been. Their directions are terrible on the electrical. I'm not kidding. The only direction that I got was there's the wire diagram. And then it says, refer to wire diagram to make all electrical connectors. That's all I get. <laughs> That's it. You flip it over, there's your wire diagram. I mean, I you guys probably figured out a heck of a lot faster than I did, but that's all right. You know, the once it got really obvious, then I figured it out. I'm like, ooh, yellow. Oh, that one's blue. I guess I know where the blue one goes. I yes. process of elimination. Okay, guys, let me uh, take a small break and then I'll come and and do one last go over on this and see where we're at. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you in one last time. Uh, so I was able to get a rubber grommet, grommet uh, around there so we don't cut any wires. I've got my cap on, you saw that. Uh, I've got my water shutoff valve. This is turned and gonna go up, I think this goes up to the manifold and then this side here goes to the uh, pump, one of them. And then you can see I've got that plugged in. So the only thing left to do now will be I gotta get these wires, you know, find a keyed source here and battery ground. And then uh, this white wire needs to go to the uh, pressure switch, which we won't be putting in for a while. So, but either way, purple wire goes into the exact same port as this on the other end. So they're the same. I don't know why there's two wires, but the wire diagram doesn't even show the purple. So I pulled it out and stuffed it out here anyways, and I'll I'll just bundle it up and tape it if we don't need it. No big deal. Uh, anyway, so that's that is the uh, the end of that. And you can see we all, you know, we got a lot done on this video. We got all the wiring in, all of that routed. The firewall is really taking shape and looking good. And then when we come in, we can step back and take a look. We have a little bit of tidying to do, but it's all hooked up. Um, and I just can't tidy this all until I know what it's going to be like with the center console in there. So, uh, that is not my priority right now. My priority is to get as much of this ready, the windshield in and, and get that dash in so I can start my final cleanup underneath here and hooking up everything to the dash. Uh, because then I can, once that's done, I can put a battery in here. I can hook it up and I can start making sure I have power to all the different places. Uh, make sure the tail lights work when I turn the light switch on, things like that. So um, that'll be a really good day that I can do a little bit of troubleshooting on what I have in here already and at least eliminate any problems with that. So, okay. Okay guys, so we're gonna wrap this up. I'm, uh, I'm as far as I'm gonna get on, um, on this this week. So I got a light right behind the camera and it's blinding me there we go uh until then uh if you guys got a project get out and work on it if you don't get one <laughs> you you saw the junkyard video right so there's plenty there some really good stuff um anyways hey don't don't give up on your projects get out there and work on them all right and i will see you guys next week bye